Ooh, that boy LeBron got saved again, boy. He got saved. I'm ready, I feel, I'm ready to cook you on this. I'm gonna let you say what you gotta say. But but no, I'm I'm starting to respect it, right? Like LeBron isn't the type of player like a Curry, like a uh, Kobe, who is like, oh, I'm finna do it for the team, and it's like I'm I'm gonna carry that weight whether I do it or don't. I feel like he's like, man, I'm just trying to win. I'm just trying to rack these mugs up. And at the end of the day, I'm going to get my credit. Ain't nobody going to say Lonnie Walker better than me for real. So it's like, like he don't have no ego when it comes to closing out the game. You agree with that? I mean, he's always been like that. Um, I don't look at it whether you want to be the guy that takes the last shot or you the guy who want to um, just look for whoever has the best, um, best shot. I don't think it's ego. I think people – or just it's different how people accept who step up to their roles. LeBron is okay with, okay, this is who I am. If I got the best shot, I'll take it. If I don't got the best shot, I'll pass it. Matter of fact, I don't have to be in the play. I can just be on the court just as a presence. Hmm. And, this can be, and this play can be set up for somebody else versus a Jordan or a Kobe who like, man, I'm taking the last shot. That was something they owned up to, like, I'm going to live and die by it. I'm going to live hmm. with the criticism. I'm going to die by the criticism. So, I mean, and they they broke a lot of people's hearts. <laughs> Whether it was their fans or the other team's fans. So, I mean, that's just, you, you got to live with whatever um, whatever player you choose to be. Because you, you know me, Ray. I'm so anti-LeBron, but me sensing that his career is almost over with, and the Lakers actually got a chance to win a championship for real, for real. Like, I feel like, and then the way he embraced Lonnie Walker at the end, I don't think that was fake. You know, you know how I am. I be thinking that should be fake sometimes. <laughs> you know, I be uh-huh. thinking LeBron probably the most, but I don't. I feel like it's LeBron has been very consistent when it comes to oh, he's hot, man. Keep doing you. That's why we love the Kyrie LeBron relationship so much. It's because. LeBron, like I said, LeBron can get you to the moment. And then a guy like Kyrie, a guy like uh, just these other closers, a Jimmy Butler, or so or whoever else you want to put in there, they can close a game for you. I can get you to the moment, and you can uh, execute in the moment. So I feel I like, huh? No, nah, you finish. Because I, I just feel like um, I'm st- I appreciate LeBron for that. For being consistent with that throughout his career, he doesn't care about taking the last shot. He never has. Don't look like he ever will, and he don't mind sharing that credit with somebody. The way he embraced Lonnie, I was like, this dude really ain't a hater. So, I just appreciate that about LeBron last night. And what's crazy is he still got um just the same amount as uh same amount of buzzer beaters or not buzzer or go ahead shots to win a game. As anybody, like, so the fact that, like, it's just the same thing with this, with him being a scoring leader now, like, <laughs> we all knew what type of player he was. Nobody looked at him and said, man, he's the greatest scorer this game, this game is going to ever see. But look at him now. He, he leading the le- he all-time leader in scoring. So, yeah. I mean, he said it himself. He said, I, was ain't po- I ain't supposed to have this. <laughs> like, that's what I, that's what I heard all my career, at least. Like, but I mean, um, back to the original point though about it's just like that meme that's going around. Let him cook, like <laughs> that's LeBron. Look, like, hey, he started the fire. Let him cook. Yeah. Like, you know, hey, I, I ain't gonna lie. We all know some. You could name probably three players right now. It don't matter if a nigga cooking or not. Nigga want that ball back, man. <laughs> <Nigga> <laughs> like, okay, that's cool. Back over here. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like, cause um, I don't know, bro. I just, I just really appreciate that about LeBron. How do you feel? Okay, how do you feel about the overall performance of the Lakers in this game? Perseverance, um, cause they got down in that third quarter. And um. It won't. It, it just how how the tables turn so quick. It just I was like Lakers, y'all act like y'all just y'all don't care if y'all go back to Golden State two two, and that ain't gonna look good. Next thing you know, 
I seen a little run coming. I'm like, okay. And plus, I, I, the one thing I noticed about the Lakers um, is when Reeves' confidence is at a certain level, the Lakers are going in a certain level, uh, certain direction as well. I don't know if that has any type of direct correlation to one another, but I don't, Ray, I mean, you not lying. Like, cause this, this, this the thing with okay, it's either him or D'Lo. Remember we talked about it when you just got one of those dudes. Cause like you said it last time, they can create their own shot. So and like you said, they'll never get du- double teamed ever. So if you cooking and you going with LeBron, who's pretty consistent in what he's doing, AD, who is becoming more consistent in what he's doing, then you got another dude that can get you 20 points from all three levels. Man, that's a legitimate big three at this point. And I feel like uh that's that's just that's that's very important for a guy like Austin Reeves or D Lo to get 20 plus. Yeah. It's a game three, D Lo, game four, Austin Reeves. And it's crazy because you said it. Cause I, I, I had because I'm like, man, though they are both X factors, but you only need one, you need only one of them to get 20. They both yeah. are capable of it, but you only need on a game to game basis one of them to get 20, or both of them if AD do, finds a way to disappear on offense. But I feel like because you know LeBron, you know what LeBron gonna give you. But the thing about LeBron is he's not gonna give you 40 no more. I feel like that's that's over with, Ray. How you feel about that? Because I don't feel like he'll ever give you 40, not a good 40 again. I just feel like it depends on the situation. Uh, but just to expect him to get you that, like, hey, LeBron, you think you can give us 40 tonight? I don't think it's going to come like that. It's, it's going to be one of them just, bro, we didn't see this come type of 40 nights. Where he just catch fire from three. Like, if, yeah. if LeBron is on fire from three, we already know he can get to the paint time he wants to. But if he starts firing on all cylinders from behind that, uh, that three-point line, it's going to be a long day. Uh. I, and then the fact that he's still taking three, uh, eight threes a game, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it is what it is, man. What's up, Landon the Heartless 216? But uh, I just, I don't know, right? I'll be, I don't know, man. Any, anything else you want? Oh, shout out Dennis Schroeder. Because Dennis Schroeder, his third quarter was really good. He was a pest on, on defense. And then he was just like, man, he was leading to offense. I think he had like, he had like six or eight points in that third quarter, but they was a crucial six to eight points. So I feel like Dennis, Dennis Schroeder really did his thing. You know, uh, who else played good? Huh. Reeves had a nice little third. Oh yeah, nah. Reeves had a good. Reeves had a good second half. I really did like how Reeves played. But so I feel like those are the unsung heroes. It was Reeves in the second half and Dennis Schroeder in the second half. I feel, so I feel like. like the- go ahead. I was. I feel like um, the second half wouldn't have been as difficult. They would have kind of got AD going a little bit. It seemed like they was even tr- really trying. They was making it hard on themselves when they had to. Like AD had 19 points in the first quarter, and in the third quarter, he only took two shots. He wasn't. And people, before people say, "Man, he he wasn't on um, demanding the ball." He was asking for that mug. He for some reason he just wasn't getting that mug. And that's, that, I, it threw me off. I'm like, bro, this dude, can't nobody guard him. He's the most unguardable player on the court. You can say what you want about Curry. You can say what you want about LeBron. 80 is the most unguardable player on the court. When, how he was playing in the first half and how he's supposed to play, it's no reason why the offense shouldn't always go through him first. Even if it's just a touch, let him touch the ball. See, if you want to pass it back out to one of y'all, okay, but let him touch the ball just about every possession. I really, I really ain't tripping about AD not touching the ball in the second half. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm saying I that's feel where like the struggles came before. Before we kind of got it going, back going, we were struggling. I'm like, dude, y'all making it harder than what it is. Just get that man the ball. Ah, uh, if 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 I feel like he want it, he the type of dude that I don't know. He want it all the time in the second half. Like you can feed him, but I ain't gonna stun. I'd rather you had a ball, and it depends on who who got it going. 
Like you think you think he played you think he played half, but okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on this end, and then in another half, I'm gonna focus on this end specifically. I, you think he one of those type I, players? I feel like the game. You know what I think things. it is, man. Lately though, I feel yeah. like Darwin Ham making the adjustment and it worked. And then once they make an adjustment to the adjustment, then all right, let me find somebody else to do it. He didn't do nothing the whole second half. I guess he's saying, uh, "What's it called?" They made an adjustment. He don't. He ain't. He ain't escort. making an. He not making an adjustment to the adjustment. Oh, I, I just think AD has to expend so much energy on defense because they kept putting him in a pick and rolls, and I feel like they just probably it probably saps his energy to be honest with you. So he don't have a lot of gas to demand the ball on the man. On the I ain't playing the whole game too. He, he, he played like forty five minutes. The whole game. Yeah. So when you doing when you when you did as much as you did on offense, and then you also the defensive anchor. I can understand. It's different when you when you a, a lockdown defender, but you are on a perimeter. You are not anchoring the defense as as a perimeter defender though. So you not man, even man. though you still using some energy, you are not using as much as a big would. I don't give lit, a damn with that motherfucker out there huffing and puffing. Your big ass over us. No, hey, but Chris, man. think about how much the amount of weight he carrying on defense though. For real, for real. Like, I'm not taking nothing away defense. from him, but I need all of that. But but yeah, I, I ain't playoff tripping. time, I ain't baby. Tripping. Ain't no time. To, I, I ain't. Hey, only nigga I'm giving a pass to is that old motherfucker. Uh, y'all, old motherfucker wearing number six. Oh, uh, you shit. Eight, is eighty even thirty? Yeah, he he just turned thirty. But no, nah, this this what I'm saying. When, when the, but Chris, ask me this: When the last time we seen a player of his caliber who was legit um, elite on both ends? But but see, Ray, the only thing about it though is that you know because everybody it, it seemed like with him we we all know what he does on both ends, bro. But literally, he he's the only one that we sometimes, in my opinion, give an excuse to. Hey, I mean, I'm all it's been plenty. Like, it's been plenty. I mean, it's a lot of two way players that's been out there that's been elite for their position, bro. But we ain't, we ain't giving these niggas no passes. Name, name me the other big um in this playoffs that's elite on both ends. The only other one was uh is, is, is Joel. And I don't even think he even, I don't think he anchoring the defense like um. No, like he ain't the defense, right? He ain't in the defense. Jordan I don't, B anchoring the defense. I, I don't I what AD did when he switched on stuff, Joel was getting cooked in that situation. That dude, that boy be moving like he trying to do quick feet out there. I don't know what his feet no, be no, doing. No, Anthony Davis a better defender. But if you want to say that AD way, is a better perimeter defender, I'll give you that, but they still he better good. overall defender. I ain't gonna say overall because Joel a hell of a rim protector, bro. He a hell of a rim. AD player. just broke the record for blocks in um uh, in a in a series. I, no, I, I I understand that, but there's more to rim protection to getting blocks. I feel I feel like AD the best at getting blocks, but just the sheer presence of Embiid in the paint. Do Do, do you realize? Did you watch Jalen Brown in game? Hold on, it, hold on a second, DJ, before you get too excited. Did you Do you realize <laughs> that the Lakers do have the best defense without fouling? Yes, them in Miami. You know You know how elite you have to be. To um be a paint protector and and be able to still do that, I I see what you're saying. I'm not comparing. I'm not saying that Embiid is better than Anthony Davis at defense. Eighty grabs more boards. You you're not lying, right? But what Joel and B so does saying, on saying, offense saying, what, and I'm defense saying, what, combined. What can you lean towards to say that he's a better paint protector than? If I'm naming off all these different things, no, I'm not what, saying what he's a he better paint that? protector. He, bro, he's up there when it comes to paint protection. You, so where do you think jo- Joel Embiid ranks as a paint protector, as a rim protector? I'm saying AD is the best at it. I'm saying AD That's is the fine. best defender as a, as a big, period. That is fine. But Joel Embiid is still a good defender. I will say, he's though, saying, I, saying, in Joel's defense, though, I would have to see these. I'll probably go more off of blocks per game. Because they, they say he just broke the blocks record for the postseason, right? Oh. Uh, AD. Now he broke it for that. Uh, to have one, uh, have the most blocks in a series, he had like 26 blocks or 29, somewhere between 25 29 blocks. Oh, they just said in, in the series, series in general, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought That's they were just talking about just this year. 
But I still take Joel Embiid's defense and his incredible offense over AD because AD offense is very. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it. Yeah, it's up and down. It's up and down. Yeah. When they played each other, AD be matching his offense though. That's the crazy part. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't get too hyped when you killing people like um, um, what's called Nikola Usovich or something like boo hoo. <laughs> Anybody can kill him. I'm like, bro. Every time AD actually matches up against another legit uh, paint defender, then I'd be like, okay, now he's showing me something. But when he just playing against, I don't know. I mean, so but that, but even right there, right? Like, it's even hard for you to defend him just because it's like we see what he is supposed to be doing and can do, but that nigga just he be leaving us. Yes. He don't do it consistent enough, bro. Oh, That's oh. all it is. It's just the inconsistency part of it. I'm not going to – the defense. Hey, man. Huh? 80, 80, I'm just saying man. offense. Like, uh, like how he's you just said. You try to joke match- with on 80 about the odd games. And it, that was I last, don't care about the that reason shit. Why, that, that, no, yeah, that no, shit was some bullshit. I'm going to say they tried to make that's, it seem like that's, 80 that's, only that's, had that's a good ES, game. So. That's, that's ESPN trying to make a story. I'm like, that's ESPN trying to make They literally blew – they literally blew out – um. Memphis by 40 in game six. And they was like, well, since he only had 16, he had 16 points because they was cooking him and he didn't play no more. <laughs> like, what? Seth since when does a good game equate to, man, he had 30 points. So you know he had a good game. Okay. He shot 40%. Like, we we got to move on to the Knicks and Heat, but I'm going to ask you this question, right, as a Lakers fan. And then, Chris, you can jump in after. So, who would y'all rather see as a Lakers fan? The Nuggets? Or the Suns, man. Be honest. I want the Suns. I knew he was gonna jump ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I want the goddamn sun. one down, another one to go. Hey man. Oh, and DJ, I'm gonna need you to stop poking the bear, dog. I'm gonna need you to cut it out. That shit's hilarious. I'm gonna need you to stop poking the bear, my boy. I will never. I'm gonna need you to stop. But no, nah, well, man. Well, go ahead, you, you talk about you know, Dylan Brooks. You know the era, you that, you know the the era of basketball we come <laughs> from, man. I want whoever. But who would realistically? Because Chris say the Suns, and I feel like that is a better matchup. For I the think Lakers. the Lakers got the depth to match. Um, I don't give Nuggets. a damn about no matchup. I think the Lakers got the depth to um, match the, uh, Nug- uh, the Nuggets, and I think Lakers can um, dominate against the Suns. So. Some people LeBron. might look at that and be like, what? No, nah, I feel like I think Lakers would dominate the Suns. I do too. I feel like it would be a, a tougher matchup with Nuggets just because they got a lot of size, man. I can say, and, and not just that, um, both of them have depth, so that's not that the best. Neither one going to have an advantage when it comes to the bench. LeBron, Ramon James, and Kevin Wayne Durant. That is all I care about. Y'all can talk about all these bullshit ass matchups all y'all want. That's what I want to see. It, I wanna it, see LeBron take out. I want to see AD and Jokic again. Yeah, that's what it was. You tripping, Chris. It would be man. Uh, LeBron show. take out Steph this and KD. Be a, re- a real if remake. If LeBron take out level? Steph and KD in the same playoffs, Chris, that's narrative. That's I don't narrative. give a shit. I need that's to, uh, that's, that, I mean, you can say that's narrative. That's, you can that's say it's a narrative all that's you still, want still, to, that's DJ. Still, that's still nasty on your resume. You took out a duo like that. That took you out? Shit. I'm telling you, boy. I told y'all LeBron made it the most. They all took a good start to be one of the, the greatest scoring playoff duos that we've seen. I told so you, if LeBron man. take them out, that would be crazy. I told you, bro. LeBron mad to the motherfucker. That motherfucker looking like one down, one to go. I need both of them. Y'all, <laughs> I need y'all heard, both y'all of them. Heard what LeBron, y'all heard what LeBron said. He said, "I'm tired of people saying I'm old and I can't." He said, "I still got it. Believe me." He said, "I'm just smarter about how I use my energy now." That's I it, believe, bro. I believe it, but it's just like I don't know, bro. He better not try to. I don't know. I don't know. He better not try. Hopefully, he wouldn't have that mindset trying to go at KD. Because if he try to go at KD, he's going to lose. He can't outscore nobody at this point, I don't think. I feel yeah, like he's got to Dylan Brooks. Brooks. Nah, I nah, I, I'm talking that. about stars. You still think LeBron can outscore stars? Like the star stars? Like how Jokic 
was battling, how how KD was battling, and how Booker was battling. Y'all think LeBron could stick in one of them? Bro, I just feel like if it, if if the way how he talking about he trying to use his energy smarter, if it's one of them games where he just feel, especially if they gonna get them a lot, if he gonna get some more, you know, time in between games. Because that's what I'm really surprised at in this series is that people can say what they want to, but this is the only series where they literally playing every other day. They playing every other day. Like I think they said Philly don't play again until like what Saturday or some shit. Yeah, because they ain't like these trouble. niggas are, huh? They ain't still in the same like state that. when they play Golden State. Yeah, I, they ain't got I mean, I get you, but shit. So was a uh, Golden State in the Kings when they played, and they wasn't playing every other day. It was they, a lot of matchups still too, though. It was still the I get game. you, but I'm just saying, you know, it's still no, I, they I, the I, only one. You know what I'm saying? And even still, they ain't like uh, like all these other shit. Boston and Philly down the street from each other. It feel like they don't play every yeah. other day a little bit. No, no, sir. Like, like, like when you. if they if like, but yeah, like you play every other day, like when you in the city, but when you switch into the other city, you normally get at least two days. Like the Lakers and the Warriors, they have played every other day. They have not had a break, even even with switching arenas and stuff like oh, that. They have not had yeah, a break. Yeah, yeah, that's I what I mean. It. Yeah, oh, so that's why I'm saying I'm like I'm actually happy with the way that LeBron is is playing, considering that the fact that no. they ain't had no extended days off in between. No, I'm not saying LeBron is playing is playing bad. LeBron is still well. No, but I'm just saying game. I just use that as saying like in, in, in the next series, if it, if it's at least a, a something where he got more time in between games. Hey man, if you feel like if Chris, you feel like he got to step Chris, on the stop, gas, stop, he got to step stop, on the stop. gas. If K, if KD a book, well, book and I, I gotta say, book and KD. If book and KD was going off how they was against Jokic, where Jokic had fifty three and eleven, and that shit wasn't wasn't worth it, it didn't get them nowhere. LeBron would drown in a game like that, man. LeBron and AD is drowning in a game like that, bro. I'm Lakers not even going to lie. Lakers have more defense. Lakers have more defense. Now's ahead of um, what's it called, Denver though. Yes. Yeah, so you asked me, do I think LeBron could score? Like, yeah, LeBron could, like, but if you got two of them you got to deal with, then of course you got to have somebody else come along with you. But that's what I'm saying. LeBron with them would drown in that. You think AD's going to come along and get your 40? Shit, you think, hey, man. I don't, I, but you see what I'm saying, though? Like, in that scenario, what we just seen from. Uh, if I got DeAndre Ayton guarding me, hell yeah, I better get 40 because I know that nigga ain't finna try. So we just gonna block out the first two games when uh, when Devin Booker was going crazy. In the first game with Devin Booker and um, Katie at a. Uh, his last just game, they, just, they lost. Just, so I mean, like, it was a better team effort. You, you gotta think about it, though. Yo, Jokic they saved lost the first the game because they too. they team wasn't backing them up. Okay, they won the last two Jokic games because they had help with they <laughs> along with their dominant scoring. You can have I a dominant that. scoring night, but if your team not backing you up, it don't mean much. I'm exactly. saying, I'm saying, I don't think the Lakers could survive a game like that offensively. If you think, think if you think that Landry Shaman is going to do what he did against the Nuggets versus the Lakers. I'm not saying he would do that. I'm saying if Devin Booker goes for 50, if Kevin Durant goes for 40, they're I don't going feel... to have to average that that whole series because, bro, I don't think you understand. Lakers have one of the best defenses since the trade deadline. Like it's not even close. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I still think Devin Booker is going. They're going his to buckets, have to do I don't, that. I don't think he's going. I don't think he's Aiden is going to be clowns. Like Their bench is going <laughs> to be clowns. A Kogi, I'm. I don't even. I don't even know what he. I don't, Man, I don't know what he brings they, to the table. They honest, played Terrence Ross and T.J. Warren and Cameron Payne. They're getting game clowns. Back. Cameron. I mean, you okay, can say you said Cameron Payne. Bro, you just need some dudes. that somebody. You just need somebody to come along with two dudes getting forty. Man, come on, y'all. Come on, dog. Two dudes account for eighty points. The Lakers won a game yesterday. Only three people had over 20, y'all. Devin Booker and Kevin Durant had more than that combined. You see what I'm saying? It's a it's a math thing. If because I I do think Kevin Durant and Devin Booker both can go for 40 on the Lakers. Because you're not oh, no, didn't, for a didn't whole they... series. That's what you think. I don't see why not. Who guarding Boy, Devin Booker? No. Who guarding Devin Booker? Then we beat then we beat the Suns in the regular season. That's the regular season. Who who guarding Devin Booker, right? We can throw many matches at him. Man. 
Because you're going to have to put Vanderbilt on KD. So I, I'll give you that, but he'll probably give KD a hard time. But I don't I know. Start, to be honest, for that series, I would start Lonnie Walker. And I'll start him out on the book. We got to get to the to the Knicks heat, but man, Lonnie Walker don't know don't want none of that. Come on, man. Let's be real. Found some shit I love to do, so I can look comfortable. Searching for a peace of mind. Need that when it's time to rhyme. Perfect in every line. Any chance I get, and I know it takes time, but I will never quit. 